not let anyone validate your purpose. Do not let anyone validate your destiny. Someone told you a long time ago that you wasn't worthy. Someone looked you in the eye and said you wasn't going to make it. I say to you right now that you will make it. I say to you right now that you must make it. I say to you right now that you must tell excuses, fear, and doubt that it has no place in your place of business. For this is your life that you are fighting for. This is your life that you are living for. And make no mistake, no one is going to do you better than you. Don't wait for something to happen. You make it happen. You make it happen for a reason. And take full responsibility and control of this thing we call life. Leaders do not think like followers. Leaders used to be followers, all of them. If you want to be an impactful personality, you have to develop certain types of thinking and perceptions that change the way you see yourself and see the world. I call this the spirit of leadership.
up every day. You gotta show up day after day. You gotta show up when you're motivated. You gotta show up when you're feeling unmotivated. You gotta show up when everyone is behind you. And you gotta show up when it feels like everyone is against you. You gotta show up when you feel like you're winning. And you gotta show up when you feel like you're losing. It's your time and it's your turn. But you're gonna have to be willing to endure the temporary struggle. You're going to have to be willing to deal with the negative chatter in your head because it's not going away. You gotta manage it. You gotta confront your fears. You gotta confront your doubts. Success is not going to be handed to you. Nobody owes you anything, but you owe you everything. You owe it to yourself to hang in there when it gets hard. to take everything away from you because your mind is very powerful bring in the goodness moving with a purpose conditioning your mind is what this is about today is that day and when and if tomorrow comes for you be even more powerful. Be stronger than you've ever been. Rectify in yourself. Believe in yourself. Keep that faith in yourself. Don't let the outside interference stop your growth. Don't let those that doubted you and said that you did not have it hold you back. Don't let the losses keep you down. Because if you're down, how would you understand what it means to get up? What is good about being miserable? What is misery doing for you? What has misery done for you lately? Has it given you everything that you need? Has it made you a better person? Your mind, your abilities, your faith within yourself is all that you need. The steps that you take in your life, it's a process within itself.
your only limit. Your potential is endless. Go do what you dreamed you could do. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. So check out going on and think that every day is promised to you. We have all experienced great losses in our life. We have all felt that pain of losing a loved one. So what do we care about? But yet we're still here. And now we must go on. There's not a person alive that does not experience fear on some level. Don't you believe that for a minute? I face it all the time. Fear is so big and so prevalent today. Nothing produces more failure than does fear. It is the fear of failure that freezes people before they even start. It is the fear of failure it causes you not to want to deal with the rejection and the potential hurt that failure causes. So fear cripples you on so many levels. But how is it that some people somehow manage to get by anyway? What is it that you can do that would help you overcome 
whatever fear you face. Well, here's what I was taught. And this has helped me in my life, my career, my family, my jobs, my ambition, everything. You overcome fear with your dreams. I want y'all to listen to me closely now. You overcome fear with your dreams. Steve, how my dreams gonna make me overcome my fear? Because I want you to listen to me. Because the dream is everything. The Bible says a man without a dream or a vision shall perish. The dream is everything. See, if you have no dreams and visions, you'll perish. You will die in fear. You will die sitting somewhere in fear without dreams and visions. Dreams are the counterpoint to all fear. I want you to dream so big. I want you to want something so incredible. I want you to dream of having something that's so spectacular that if it doesn't happen, you would be miserable.